If you go to the ISC campus in Bengaluru, you will find that it is cooler than the rest of the city by 2 or 3 degrees on an average. You will be surprised to know that the water table has risen to 10 feet here while it is plunging in the rest of the city. All thanks to a mini forest spread over 2 acres on the ISC campus. Once you do that, there is no need for any maintenance. You don't have to give the water after four or five years. And also there is no maintenance, only the pruning of the trees once in a while we do it. Otherwise, if you see, it's a wild area. So, and it has to be wild. So, you should not try to maintain and make it a, this one. So, when it is wild only, wild animals can reside. Two ISC scientists, T.V. Ramchandra and Harish Bhatt, started growing the mini forest in 1988. They brought in 500 saplings of 49 species of plants from the Western Ghats and planted them in the campus. Their initiative was part of an experiment to study the adaptability of trees from Western Ghats in urban spaces. So our objective is to enhance the, the biodiversity of the region and the second thing is also another added benefit was the groundwater recharge. Over the decades, the two-acre land once infested with Parthenium weed has blossomed into a thick mini forest. Many signature trees of the Western Ghats such as Mahua, Arjuna and Lang Lang can be found here. Even the lovely Liana, found only in moist tropical forests of the Ghats, has made its home in Bengaluru. ISC's man-made forest is home to 54 species of animals, which include four families of slender loris, several species of reptiles, birds and insects. Since the animals are left at peace here, researchers say many new species of birds have also migrated. The officials did not let us shoot inside the forest, saying there were poisonous snakes inside. The researchers also enter it only once a year to carry out a census of trees and animals. Mini forest to retain the water in the system because these act as a repository. They act as a sponge, they retain the water and they give the water when we want it. So the underlying layers act as the sponge. So if we need to replicate this, I hope youngsters will take this idea forward.